The addition of the Sumerian and Akkadian cities to the rising Babylonian Empire pleases Hammurabi greatly. Now he sets a more difficult task for you. One of our frontier cities was recently sacked, and important treasures, including a copy of Hammurabi's law code engraved in stone, were carried off to the Tigris River. Chase the raiders to where the treasures were taken and build up a force to recover them. They must not be allowed to move the treasures upstream. The prestige of your great king remains tarnished for as long as these treasures remain in enemy hands. Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Voices of Babylon campaign. We are on Scenario 2, the Tigris Valley. The objective of this one is to capture the two missing treasures and return them to your side of the river. So we've pretty much gone from one of the hardest missions I've played in this game. It's probably one of the easiest. Let's begin. So there is still a bit of setup to do, but this mission compared to the last one is uh, is a lot simpler, a lot more straightforward. We're basically on an island, and we need to get to uh, get a couple of artifacts. Uh, we're actually going to build a dock pretty quickly. I'm just going to scout our island. Um, there's some gold on this side, and there's gold on the other side. Which would be very handy for us. I'm going to age up pretty quickly. Start with a couple of fishing boats. Outside of Newman from me. So, whilst this is a um, kind of mission we can use sea for, it is actually mostly going to be a land army since we need to actually. Capture relics. But we are going to build quite a few ships as well. So one artifact is on this island over here, and another one is on the island behind it. So there's the first artifact. Kind of surrounded by just clubman, axemen, that kind of thing. Pretty easy to secure. The second one's a little bit more tricky. being held by the Elam Raiders or Brown. Which many transports just yet? What we need to start building up our military. So we're mostly going to be using archers and warriors. We're going to age up as soon as we can. We're also going to be using hoplites. So whilst you can destroy the enemy docks in this mission, the uh, they just keep rebuilding it. So. It's a bit of a fool's errand and pretty much unnecessary for the most part.
We are going to want a steady income of gold, so we are going to grab this mine up here. Winery. Don't need to build a stables. I'm not going to be building any um, cavalry this mission. As soon as we're able, we'll build ourselves a marketplace that will allow us to age up. And give us access to some good upgrades too. Not to mention farms. We're going to want to start, start our farm eco. But for now, I need to get a storage pit over here. some transport ships and we need to be build about four of them. Just sort our food eco out. Upgrades. So build three more houses, and that will get us to cap. Mostly going to be building archers and um, composite bowmen. Oh, sorry, composite bows and um, broadswords. That's our main composition. Don't need to do anything fancy. Once we finish this upgrade, we can pretty much just start um, unit production. And then once we've got about 20-ish troops, we should be able to rock and roll and start finishing this mission off.
close to max. This be the last upgrade we need. Don't really need it, but it definitely helps. I'm not going to have to land into the middle of the enemy territory, which is, you know, always risky. Close enough. Right. We'll go for the difficult one first and then we'll go for the easy one. First artifacts in a really dumb position just over here. Which we just need to kill the villagers. Sars. One's even easier. These guys are literally just club men, so they stand zero chance against a fully upgraded army. Boom, bish, bash, bosh. Take it back. And easy GG. No messing about. No crazy shenanigans. Microing loads of armies. Just literally that simple. <laughs> Jeez. The great King Hammurabi has died. During his lifetime, you managed to prevent raids and invasions into the Babylonian heartland, ensuring Babylon's continued success. But with Hammurabi's death, the Babylonian Empire has gradually started to decline. Only time will tell when we will have another great king such as Hammurabi to once again make Babylonia a great power. Alrighty folks, well that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up if this is the kind of content you enjoy. Then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.